sent several tweets here in the last week <laughs> just saying, share this with your friends up north because yes. it's going to be 78 today. Yeah. Nice. 78. Oh, and the chance of snow. Zero. Love okay. It. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get you out. We are tracking some precipitation though, but it's rain, so we can handle that for sure. Here's a live look outside Daytona Beach. A couple of little drops of rain on the old sky cam lens as we're still about 45 minutes from really getting that sun on up. 72 degrees currently, winds out of the east at about 13. East means we're going to get a rip current risk, and the higher that number, the higher the rip current risk. So today, Probably a little dangerous to go in for a swim. Now, first alert Doppler radar is showing that precipitation, but no whites, no pink, so no frozen precipitation. Keenansville, Yeehaw Junction, all the way up to about uh, East Lake Toho, watching these showers, now crossing the turnpike here into Osceola County. And this is all going to eventually work right over to Brevard County in the next, uh, say, Hour to two hours time. Eustis, Mount Plymouth, Zellwood, Apopka, all of these areas, Gotha, Windermere, getting some of these showers working on in toward you. As a matter of fact, I want to widen the perspective out and I want to put a track on this as it moves off towards the east at about 20 miles an hour or so. So as it moves off towards downtown Orlando, celebration, you'll get wet here in the next minute or so. Apopka, 626. Pine Hills, good morning to you. 631 is when the rain moves into your neighborhood. Wakiva Springs, 638. Altamont Springs, 645. Downtown Orlando at 643. Not heavy downpours, that's all out in the Gulf of Mexico, but you generally see the motion is off toward the east and northeast. So from time to time today, we're going to get these clouds and showers moving on through. High temperatures look like this, 76 in the villages. We'll make it to 77 Titusville, 74 today in Palm Coast. Now, let me put future cast into motion. You can kind of see that that swath of showers, little pockets of rain, will continue through lunchtime. As a matter of fact, lunchtime up and down the I-4 corridor could even see some locally heavy downpours. But by this afternoon, 6 p.m., the general activity kind of wanes as it uh, kind of lifts up towards the north. But tomorrow, even more showers and thunderstorms expected as this little storm system gets going out in the Gulf of Mexico. The storm system itself stays to our north, but it's going to throw our way the chance of some thunder boomers tomorrow. So keep an eye on that uh, for sure with us and online at WESH.com. Severe risk for tomorrow's storm prediction center kind of outlying uh, the I-10 corridor, but that does extend into Flagler and Marion counties in our area. So it's something we're going to keep a close eye on for you. First alert seven day forecast then ups the rain chance today into tomorrow. 50% chance of storms for your Sunday. High of 84 degrees. Staying warm Monday and then Tuesday our actual cold front is going to push through central Florida. 70% chance of storms. Your travel day Wednesday is actually looking to be cloudy showers in the morning and highs only making it to the 60s. And for now, look at that Thanksgiving forecast. Chilly in the morning, nice and cool through the afternoon, but at least the sun will be shining. Black Friday forecast for now, cool and sunny as well.